Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Um, so today's vlog is, it's my competition vlog from last Wednesday. Um, so I wasn't gonna release this video just cause I was super, super unhappy with how I ran and just how the day went. And I didn't want to put that like negativity out there in the world. Um, but instead I kind of thought about it and I just wanted to kind of embrace the struggles um, and not every meet is perfect and not every athlete's perfect so I just want to show you guys that it's okay that you have bad results and you shouldn't be embarrassed of your bad results you should just take them and bring them along with you and just like learn from them and really just grow off of them so let's get the video started and then it ends pretty abruptly um, so then we'll bring it back. Chuck's walking upstairs and then we'll bring it back here and I'll just talk to you guys through what kind of happened and what I was thinking. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Today is meet day. I say it like this because I'm only doing two events and it's only hurdles and shot put. So it's nothing like too, too intense, uh, but I'm taking it seriously. But obviously like when you come from doing the decathlon to doing just two events, it's like, ah, it's a walk, not park. Okay, so I'm just starting to pack now. Um, I've had clothes in my laundry hamper for like a week. So I'm gonna fold those really quickly. Um, but I threw my shoes in the wash. Turned out pretty well. Um, also the wrist strap keep everything super super clean and then for today I just bought some gum it's nice to chew on gum I got some Skittles and then also just uh, a Gatorade as well Carol just said this car looks like a Doberman care to explain yourself because its wheels are too big for the okay that's fine that's not what yielding is <sighs> Okay, we haven't talked about this before. This is unscripted. What do you realistically think I'm going to do today? What did you run in hurdles in the deck 1456? Something along those lines, 1450 something. And your hurdle practices since then have been like so-so? Yes. And it's kind of cold out? Yes. And really windy? Yes. <laughs> I think you'll run 1440. Okay. Cool. I think it could be even faster if the conditions were better, but yeah. I think now that like you have a few hurdle races under your belt, I think that's realistic and you should be able to do that on any given day. Take everything about your trail leg that it usually does in a race and don't do it. And don't do it. Got it. Got and it. shot put? Yeah. What did you throw on the deck? 1550? Yeah. Somewhere around there. Oh, you do that again. I think you are capable of throwing further than what you threw in the deck, but I also think, like, in the deck, you were just, like, so pissed off about how the 100 and long jump went. You just, like, Hulk moded it. So, like, I don't know if in this setting and this, like, type of competition, if you can pull that out of you. But, like, you, you'll easily be over 15 meters. Good answer. Good answer. What did you say? What Insert. You? I haven't said anything. Oh. I thought I was gonna have to say like, good answer. You know how they say on uh, Family Feud when it's like not a good answer. I thought I was gonna have to say that, but those are actually good answers, so good job.
back. Um, so yeah, and it pretty abruptly you saw me just kind of slow down. So I fell in the warm ups, so that wasn't a good start to the day. Um, and it was like a Wednesday, just wasn't really feeling super into it. Um, I just wasn't feeling really crisp. I did weights uh, the day before. I want to be able to just be able to turn it on just like that. So this is a good like kind of mental preparation and kind of showed me that I just need to like get more focused um, just so I can like compete in those events. Didn't really have a good warm up. Like I said, I fell and then um, just like my runs weren't feeling very good. Just wasn't feeling really crisp. Yeah, the start wasn't the greatest. Hit a couple hurdles and then by the end of it, I was just like, okay, I'm just going to walk across the line. Um, and the time was like 15... 15.20 something or 15.30 something um, and yeah that's like not what I run that's almost a second slower than what I run so so obviously I want to be close to like my PB I switched to seven strides thought I was gonna be running faster but I just haven't felt really crisp but that's for later in the season so I can't be too upset with how I'm competing earlier in the season um, and then on Tuesday the day before I had done a lot of jab um, and my elbow was just kind of hurting, my forearm slash tricep was hurting just from like pulling through, um, just because we did so much jab because it was feeling like pretty good and we were just working on stuff, so I ended up scratching from um, shot put and just didn't want to even risk it, like it's not really the same movement, but I just didn't want to even risk my arm flaring up again, so just scratched from uh, shot put and then just drove home was like really mad really upset but then yeah I was able just to sit down and be like no like let's learn from this so now I know that I just need to get a little bit more pumped up in my head just to like be able to turn it on and just really think of that one cue because once I started racing I was just like oh this is going so bad this is going so bad so just like positive reinforcement needs to be put into place for me to run those good times and like be in good headspace. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, I know it was short, so I think just the moral of this vlog is just to like embrace your failures because it is a stepping stone of being better. You're gonna fail at something, so just like don't get discouraged, don't get embarrassed. Like I fell in my warm up in front of like a bunch of high school athletes, and it's like okay. Like I did get embarrassed, but it's like, no, it, you fall, whatever, got up, did it again, went over them smooth. So yeah, so just don't get embarrassed. You'll go well. Just, just believe in yourself and just keep on working at it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Other than that, have a good one. Bye.